You ready to go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. I am just making some protein pancakes for my like post-workout meal. Bubba and I just got back from our walk. It is so beautiful out for being the beginning of February. It's literally been like 60 degrees every single day the past week and it's just beautiful. Yeah, I'm just making some pancakes and I wanted to show you guys. I got some new protein and I have been like obsessing over it. I think it's so good. It is the PE Science Select plant protein. It's a vegan and the flavor is Cinnamon Delight. Doesn't that just look so good? I got it because when I wanted to try a new protein and I used to get this brand like years and years and years ago and I just kind of stopped. But this Cinnamon Delight, it kind of reminds me of like a cinnamon graham cracker and it's really good. So I like to put this in my pancakes just to give it a little more flavor. I the only one that like feels like I have to get every single freaking drop out or it drives me crazy. I don't know, I just feel like I don't like to waste any at all. So I'm like scraping the bowl for like the last little bit. I do that with my smoothies too. Okay, pancakes are made. Put some honey and some sugar-free syrup on them. I'm also drinking an own protein shake. But yeah, I got, let me, let me take a sip of this real fast. I got an exciting package in the mail, so I wanted to unbox it with you guys. So yeah, let's open this bad boy up. I swear, I feel like this is like deja vu for me because the last time I made pancakes with you guys, I was also wearing this outfit. Pretty sure my hair was like this last time and I also unboxed something with you, so we're just having a little deja vu moment, you know? But, oh, I'm so excited. Eek. So in common, reached out to me and asked if they could send me something. <laughs> this is so beautiful. This is like my vibes right here. If you know me, you know this is my vibes. Black and gold, oh my God, it's so beautiful. This is what I got. It's the In Common Magic Mist. And isn't she a freaking beauty? You stunning girl. You spray it like once you get out of the shower when your hair is like damp and then you use it to like help comb through your hair. And it's supposed to protect, strengthen and hydrate and you already know we're gonna try it out today because I need to wash this hair of mine. So it came in perfect timing. But yeah, I'm so excited to try that out. But if it works anything like it looks, this is gonna be amazing, I already know. But yeah, I'm gonna eat my, I almost said breakfast. I mean, it is kind of breakfast, you know, breakfast food at 5, 17 p.m., my favorite time for breakfast. And then I'm gonna shower because I still have to make a thumbnail for my video that's going up today sometime. I need to get it up. It's already done edited and like uploaded to YouTube. I just need to make it public and like do YouTube edits and make a thumbnail. Okay, we are 
I got out of the shower and my hair is looking like a rat's nest. But let's test out the new In Common Magic Mist. It says, her magic is that first kiss, fireflies, lightning bolts, and gorgeous healthy hair. Instantly revitalize, moisturize, and transform your mane, my mane, with this weightless, heat-defying Exler. I think that's how you say that. To magnify your glow. Shake well, mist on damp hair, comb throughout, style away for a magical day, or mist on your dry hair to refresh your look. Infused with our C3 Custom Care Complex for healthy, beautiful hair. Universal for all hair types. Sound like magic to me you know so i'm gonna shake it well and then we're gonna spray on my hair it's got a nice mister i love these kinds of sprays i feel like the mister like covers my whole head which i love i hate when a mister just like squirts in one tiny area i don't really know how much to spray it smells pretty good and i'm gonna split my hair in half and then brush it out. Hopefully this combs out my mane because it is so hard to get my hair combed through if I don't have the right product, you know? But this magic mist is universal for all hair types. It's formulated to enhance, strengthen, and repair the hair's unique balance with repair and hydration. It reinforces and seals the cuticle. Whoa. It's like slippery right here. <laughs> to dramatically repair damage while detangling and protecting against heat damage. We love. I am the worst about putting like heat damage products on my hair. So this is like gonna be perfect for me. And as you can see, literally look at this. It <laughs> hardly took me any effort at all to comb through this side of my hair. Usually it takes me quite a bit, but this was literally like magic, you know? Ah, so easy and so beautiful. But this product is supposed to replace heat protectants, like anti-frizz products, detangler, and leave-in conditioners, which I can testify right now because I literally didn't put anything in my hair other than that, which is very, very, very uncommon for my hair because I have to put something in it to get a brush through it or I will literally be brushing my hair until eternity. I can't believe how easy it was to brush my hair through like look at that guys look at it so easy i think i have a crush you guys i have a crush on this in common magic mist that was so easy usually i'm putting like four different products on my hair but i literally sprayed just that on my hair and got my brush through it which is amazing and it feels so good so clean and yeah we love we love her we have a crush. So in comment was sweet enough to give my viewers a discount code. So if you guys want to try out this amazing product, the in common magic mist, I will leave a link in my description box below, but also use the code Chanel 15 to get 15% off of this magic heavenly product. And you also get 15% off the whole entire site. So we love a good discount. So again, my link will be down in the description box and the code to use to get 15% off your whole entire purchase will be Chanel 15. So thank you again in common beauty for sending me out this product. Okay. So it is now 6 14 and I'm just posted up here on the couch about to crank out a thumbnail real fast and then have my what's on my iPhone 13 video go live. So I'll probably catch up with you guys when I am gonna make some dinner. Okay, so I got my video up and my thumbnail made. Now I'm just gonna make some dinner really fast and I'm just gonna keep it super simple and make some chicken and some green beans. I already put the chicken or the green beans on on the stove so they're over there cooking. My hair looks crazy. Now I'm gonna get my chicken. Um, I don't know what's going on with my face. Just ignore it. It's gross and it's breaking out and it's driving me crazy, but we're just gonna move past that. So I'm also gonna have a glass of kombucha and I've been buying my kombucha in this big freaking bottle. This is like three bottles of kombucha put into one. I get it because it's cheaper and obviously it lasts me longer. The only thing that kind of stinks about this is it's all one flavor and I can't rotate it out every night throughout the week, but you just gotta get a flavor that you really like. I haven't had kombucha in a few nights, so I'm excited to have some and hopefully this doesn't explode on me. My green beans are sizzling back there. 
So here is my dinner. I just kind of threw it all together. Some green beans with some chicken. And yeah, super simple and easy and very healthy. Can't forget the most important part, my kombucha. This is the gingerberry flavor, if I didn't mention that earlier. Dinner was seriously so freaking good. I don't know why it was so good tonight. I've had it like a million times. Just really hit the spot tonight, you know? Yeah, I was gonna show you guys that I finally got the Laneige lip sleeping mask and I am so obsessed with it. I got the one in vanilla and it is so good. I love this. I also for my birthday got like a free gift from Sephora. So I got like this Tatcha like mini pack thing. And this is the Tatcha Rice Water Soft Cream Cleanser. And oh my God, you guys, this stuff is amazing. It's a cleanser, but it literally feels like lotion on your face. It's so good. And I'm sad that it's like mini because I've used it twice and I feel like it's almost already gone. And then it also came with this Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream, which I'm kind of scared to use because it's for dry skin and I don't have dry skin. I have oily skin, so I'm kind of just holding off on using that because I don't want to like have a really bad reaction to it. I mean, my face is already shit the way it is right now. Yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that because I've been talking about this bad boy for the longest time now. Finally got it, so I wanted to update you guys. So good. What's up guys? I am just getting ready to head into town. I am going to be getting my nails done. Not a big nail person, like I hate going to salons, but I just have like this urge in me to like have my nails done for Valentine's Day for some reason. Like I'm not even that big of a Valentine's person. Like before Jared, I never really cared about Valentine's Day. I just threw some makeup on really fast and I actually am really liking the foundation that I'm using. It's the It Cosmetics CC Cream. When I ordered the Laneige lip mask, they sent like two free samples of the CC Cream and I just tried it out and I freaking am loving it. I think it looks so good. And it also feels really nice. Did you go potty, boobers? Did you go potty? Ah. Yeah, and then I just crimped my hair really fast because I haven't done it in forever and I'm kind of like not feeling it for some reason but my hair is so freaking soft you guys like when I was crimping it I kept like touching it and I'm like wow that stuff I put on my hair yesterday is so nice I didn't use heat protectant which I really don't ever use heat protectant but it's nice to know that I don't have to anymore because of that product you know so yeah I love that yeah as you saw I just made me an iced coffee I've been craving iced coffees again lately it must be getting close to warmer weather oh my god that's so good my appointment is at four o'clock and it is 317 right now now, so I probably have to leave within like the next 15 minutes. I don't know what to do with my iced coffee because I ain't taking it with me like this because I ain't spilling it all over my car again. I do have this lid, but I don't know how that works. The straw fits. I was worried the straw wasn't gonna fit. So I can take it like this. The problem is it just doesn't fit in my cup holders in my car. Also, I forgot to mention, somebody is turning three tomorrow and I can't believe him is such a big boy. I can't believe you are such a big boy. That just makes my mama heart so sad. How are you three already? You're not supposed to grow up. You're not supposed to grow up. You're choking me out. He just like got slobber all over my face. But yeah, since he is turning three tomorrow, I kind of want to like stop at Petco or something and get like a dog treat that says like happy birthday or something like that. I don't know, I might just end up giving him one of the big treats that we have down here. I don't want to get it out because then he'll expect it right now and I don't want to give it to him right now. I guess I could show you my OOTD before I leave real fast. So don't mind the unmade bed in the background. Jared didn't make it when he got up this morning. He got home at eight this morning and then went to bed 
bed until like close to noon and then he just left to go to work again at one. So yeah, he didn't make the bed and I haven't had time to either, but I was going to show you my OOTD outfit real fast. OOTD outfit, that doesn't make sense. My OOTD real fast. I'm just wearing this black like little light hoodie that I got from Walmart that came with like the matching joggers, except I'm wearing Fabletics camo leggings, the like capri or seven eight inch leggings. I love these. I've had them for like a few years now, but I think they're so cute. And then of course wearing my Air Force Ones. Sorry, Bubba, did I kick you in the face? I'm sorry. Yeah, super simple and casual for nail appointment. And I also think I want to stop at Natural Grocers to get a few items, which is that that's something I should do too. I should look and see what all I need first before I go. So I'm literally like standing in my garage right now and I just changed into my Lululemon bag because I'm feeling this right now with the cash look I got going on. I wasn't really feeling my Kate Spade bag that I have. So I just threw on this bag. Oh shit, my coffee almost spilled. But I had to like hide it from Bubba because this is like my walking bag really. So like I didn't want to grab it and him see it and think we're about to go on a walk when really we're not. I'm leaving him. But honestly, it is such a beautiful day. I wish we were going on a walk, but that's okay. Mom needs to treat herself too a little bit, I guess. Yeah, let's head to the nail salon. Okay, so I just got my nails done and I just pulled up to my grandma's house. I'm gonna go visit her for a bit before I go get some groceries. I thought I would show you guys my nails. They're not nothing fancy at all. I literally couldn't decide what I wanted. So I just got some white, which is like what I typically go for. And then I just threw some pink in there for Valentine's Day. I just did shellac or gel or whatever. I literally didn't know those were the same things. And I'm kind of annoyed with myself because if I would have known, I would have just done my gel kit at home. Hopefully these will just like make them stronger and grow out a little bit. And so maybe eventually I can get a cute little dip design one. I don't know. I just am so tired of like having my nails be so freaking short and keep breaking off and stuff so I'm just trying to think of other things to do I didn't want to go like right into dip because they're so short and I don't like the dip when it's like kind of thicker on my short nails like I would rather them be longer when I have dip but I also don't want to put tips on because I just don't really love tips. I don't know, I'm very picky, but yeah, I'm gonna go in, chit chat with my grandma a little bit, and then go to Natural Grocers. I literally can only think of milk that I need, so I'm sure when I go in there and walk around, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, I need this and this and this and this and spend a hundred bucks. I love you half as much as I want to. Okay, we are back home and I'm gonna give you guys a grocery haul because like I figured I got more than just milk. I didn't spend too bad. I think I spent like 54 bucks. Yeah, that's not too bad. Usually when I go in there, I spend like a hundred or something. Okay, so this is everything I got. I'm gonna go through it really fast. I know last night I was just talking about how getting the big kombucha is more cost efficient, I guess, but they're on sale for like $2.30. Usually they're like, 350 or 399 or something like that. So I got the Health Aid kombucha in the flavor Grape Vibes, which I've had that before and I think I like it. Pomegranate, I think I've had it before. Pink Lady Apple, I think I've had that. And then this one is new. It's the Passion Fruit Tangerine. So I thought maybe I should give that one a try. I got some more apple cider vinegar. I used to take a swig of this every single morning and I just really feel like it helped, you know, cleanse my body and stuff and it's so healthy for you. It has so many benefits. So I decided to include this in my diet again. I got this Siete Dairy Free Queso. And then this is new, but I was so excited to see this because it was on sale. It's the Rayo's Slow Simmered Soup, the tomato and basil. Jared and I like to eat like grilled cheese and tomato soups fairly often. So I figured I could use this instead of actual tomato soup because this has so much healthier ingredients than actual tomato soup. And it was like only $3 and usually it's like six or seven. So I thought that was a score. Then I got my regular unsweetened ripple milk. I really like this milk because it's plant-based and it has eight grams of protein which we love and then I needed some more suja drinks and these were on sale pretty cheap too so I got the uber greens one and then I got a celery juice one and then I got some seaweed which I'm so freaking excited about this I literally was gonna use this 
to make tacos tonight, but when I saw the seaweed, I'm like, nope, I'm having a, what is it called? Like a sushi in a bowl roll or whatever thing. So I'm gonna use some of this seaweed, but I got the sea salt and avocado one, and then just the plain sea salt one. And then I got some more of the Simple Mills almond flour crackers. This is the rosemary and sea salt kind. I love these crackers. They are pricey, but they're so much better for you than regular crackers, and Simple Mills is such a good brand. And then I'm excited about these. I've heard these are so good. They're the Siete grain-free tortilla chips. And this is the ranch kind. They're dairy-free. And then this is the nacho kind. I've heard these are exactly like Doritos, only dairy-free, obviously. I think I'm gonna taste test those really fast. Up in the cupboard, I have the Siete sea salt ones, and they are so good. Like, I really like these chips, so I figured I would give those ones a try. Walking downtown and I'm okay He's got it all figured out That's what they all say, yeah. Okay, we're gonna do a little tasty test of the Siete dairy-free nacho. If I can get it open, I can never get these things open. Boom! Okay, they don't look anything like nachos. I mean, they kinda do. They just have like seasoning on them. So it's not like super cheesy like a Dorito, but Yes, they're good, but I don't think they taste like a Dorito. Like, I don't get Dorito vibes at all. I get more, like, very seasony. Like, it tastes like there's a lot of season on it, and it's a little, like, not spicy, but it's got a little spicy flavor to it. It does not taste like a Dorito at all. But they're good. Now, let's try this one. These ones kind of look the same, just like a cool ranch one. I literally don't get ranch. Like, I don't even know what those ones taste like. I mean, they're good, but they don't taste like what they say they taste like. If you can't tell, I like to try the CSA chips. So these ones are the ones that I currently love. They're the sea salt ones, and I think these are really good. These are just like your plain Jane chips. Like, you dip them in queso, you dip them in salsa. They're very good. And then these are the same, except they're the lime flavor. I don't know why I got it, because I'm just not a big lime food person, so I don't know why I got those, but they taste like lime. And then these ones are like the churro strips. They're not bad. These are what they look like. They just like little cut up tortillas that look like a churro. These are good. They just have a, like a weird aftertaste. Here's my stash on the Siete chips. I literally don't even think I've ever tried sriracha before, but I found some in my pantry. So I think I might put a little bit of this on there. I don't know, it says hot. I'm gonna taste it before I just put it on there. It smells hot. A little hot. I might just take it and add it on the side. But I tried the tangerine one and it's like really good. Like probably one of my favorites I've had. This is my dinner. I have some rice, avocado, and then I added in some of this wild caught light tuna in water just for some more protein. And then I have added my salmon. I added some liquid aminos. And yeah, that's what we got. I'm gonna just take this seaweed, kind of roll it up individually and just have a little sushi in a roll. Sushi bowl in a roll. Sushi roll in a bowl. I don't know. That's what we're having for dinner, okay? <laughs> and then this is like the skin and stuff that I peeled off the back of my salmon. And I usually feed this to Grainer, so I'm gonna go get a fork and put it in his food and he is going to love it. Are you ready to eat, Bubba? Are you ready to eat? Sit. Father, thank you for this food. We pray that it makes our Bubba strong and nourishes his body so that he can run fast and play hard with his ball. All this we pray in the power of Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Eat your food, good boy, brother. Mmm, we love salmon, huh? We love salmon nights. Okay, now that I got my bubbles fed, I'm gonna cut up my salmon and then open our seaweed. It's just little like seaweed strips if you were curious. You just take a little bit, you can either like grab it or I just kind of throw it on there. Kind of roll it up like a taco. Oh my God, this is so good. I'm gonna try one with the sriracha. So let's get a little bit of this, add a little bit of sriracha. 
Look at it, look at it. Now let's try it. It's got a little bit of kick to it, but it's honestly good. Okay. It's got a lot of bit of kick to it, but I've kind of added a lot that I probably shouldn't have. I'm gonna eat my dinner, watch a YouTube video, and then catch up with you guys later. Okay, my face is all washed and got my lip mask on. Mr. Bubba's is like obsessing over me. Per usual. Per usual. This is your last time going to bed as a two-year-old. How did you feel? Are you happy to be turning three years old? You're going to be three years old, brother. You're going to be a whole three years old. That is so crazy. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute, but I can't breathe. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys what I got today. If you didn't know, I just got an iPad. But then today, or the other day, I ordered not the Apple Pencil, but it's basically like it. That's the brand if you can read it. But this is exactly like an Apple Pencil, except significantly cheaper. This was like $25 or something. And I got three different tips that come with it, a charging port, and it works so good. I'm so obsessed with it and all I wanna do is like play on my iPad all day now. But the Apple Pencil is like $100 and this was only like 25. So you literally save so much money. Probably link this down below for you guys if you wanna check it out. But my battery is currently beeping at me. So I'm gonna get to editing and I will check y'all tomorrow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bubba's. Happy birthday to you. To your red rocket. <laughs> I love you. You're so cute. High five. High five. <laughs> birthday cuddles. Birthday cuddles. Oh, ah! yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Baba, are you ready for your birthday treat? Really? Not even gonna move? You want your birthday treat? You want your birthday treat, huh? Ooh, here's a birthday treat. Good loving peanut butter flavored bones. Do you want one of these? Do you want one of these? Look how big and juicy this is. Oh, yummy. You be good boy. Be nice. <laughs> Happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. He's so happy. <laughs> so I haven't vlogged that much today, but I literally haven't done anything but worked. I worked my job from 6 a.m. until 3 today, and then I got ready and then immediately went to the high school and worked basketball games and it is now 8 45 and i just got home so i am exhausted and i'm just gonna wash my face and brush my teeth and then lay in bed but yes i hope you guys liked this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below what you want to see next if you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me and i guess until next time we will see you in our next video Huh, Bubba? Say thank you for the birthday wishes. Say thank you. Go out and make the world smile. Go out and make the world smile.